In today's video, I will be showing you all three copies of the recent Spider-Man games for the PlayStation. Starting with the first Spider-Man game, Marvel Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. So this copy is, of course, the collector's edition. Um, it is a, it's a nice size, I would say. Uh, it's not too big, not too small. Similar to my other collector's edition for the Batman Arkham City, so if you don't have a lot of space in your cupboard, in your closet, or in your shelves, or in your cabinet, wherever, uh, this is perfect. It doesn't take up too much space, unlike some other collector's editions uh, out there. So, um, here it is. Here's the box. So, um, as, as, as you can see, obviously, it is, uh, <clears throat> it's red-themed. Uh, the front has an embossed Marvel Spider-Man logo. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to take this uh, closer to the camera, and hopefully you can see this, but... Um, if I put this on an angle, uh, there it is, hopefully you can see that. So the Marvel Spider-Man logo is embossed alongside with Spider-Man himself and also his webbing is embossed. So it's a, it's a nice touch there. All right. on, <clears throat> on the left side or on the right side, depending on where you're looking at from, uh, you have the Spider logo there. Uh, it, is, it is a glossy Spider logo, similar to the other side uh, here on the right or on your left, depending on when you look, where you're looking for them. And also the top has a Spider-Man, uh, Marvel Spider-Man logo as well which is, again, embossed, All right? The, the back shows an image of Spider-Man and nothing else, which, is, which I think is great because it doesn't give you uh, any spoilers, doesn't, doesn't give away the game uh, as much, right? other than this is what Spider-Man's gonna look like uh, in game, so it's great. It just says, be greater, right? <clears throat> uh, and the other thing that it shows you is the, what, what it contains, what this collector's edition uh, contains. So if I take it up close to the camera there, you can see it, um, that's what it contains, right? The full game, collector's edition, uh, st statue by Gentle Giant, the custom seal book, the white spider sticker, mini art book, and the city that never sleeps post-launch, um, what is that, story chapters, which is the DLC that you get alongside here. And on the right-hand side, as you can see, that's just the usual, you know, gaming information. All right? Okay. Anyway, let's open this up and see the contents. A few minutes later. Okay, so this is the actual collector's edition box. Sorry, this is actually the back of it. This is the front of the box, and I'll show you why. Um, so you have the um, uh, Spider-Man here uh, in the front, right? Uh, it continues to the left-hand side or right-hand side, and then continues to the other side. The back shows you the Spider logo. Now, I say that this is the front, obviously, is because if I turn it this way, you can see the Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man logo on the top, all right? Anyway, now if I open this up um, very, very slowly, it's just taking a while. Oh, there we go. I have to say <clears throat> that this box is made very, very sturdily. So it's it's a it's a it's a nice sturdy solid box. It's not flimsy. It's it, you know it's it's got a yeah it's 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 sturdy. All right. Anyway, I just I thought I just thought that I I point that out to you. What else uh, do you get in here? So the first thing that you see that greets you when you open this box is a leaflet actually, and the leaflet says, "Warning, contains spoilers. Do not open until story is complete." <clears throat> right. Okay, now, I I don't know, uh, I, I have a few theories, uh, two actually. One thing is this warning spoiler here, this is actually for the art book, which is sitting underneath. Right Now, I say this because it does contain artwork of the main enemies in-game, uh, and, and, and a whole bunch of others. So, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a spoiler for the art book. Now, alternatively, it could simply be a spoiler warning for the statue, uh, which is sitting underneath um, all of this. Now, if that's the case, it's it's pretty pointless because, you know, you won't, I mean, me personally, I won't be able to control myself to not look past the art book, not, you know, and past this to see the, the statue. Because in order to get to the CD of the game, you need to open this, right? So it, it's, it's pretty hard to control myself. But anyway, anyway, let's take a look at the art book itself. Now, I'm... I probably mentioned this in my earlier videos, but I'm going to do another video simply, purely, to show you all of the art books that I've uh, 
I've amassed, right? So, so the art books will be coming all from, uh, you know, all the different uh, collector's editions and, and, and whatnot, special editions and all that. So be on the lookout for uh, that video uh, in the near future. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to show you a couple of pages off of the, uh, the, art, um, uh, the art book from Spider-Man. Now, I am sitting on an, on an, awkward, in an awkward angle, so this may not look, you know, very nice to, to, to look at. But I'm going to try my best to show you, um, you know, uh, the art book. So, I'm going to open a few pages. Th there you see Spider-Man, uh, and then you have all the enemies. Actually, let's see if I can hold it th another way. Uh, probably not. So let's go from the back to the front. All right, you got Os Oscorp Industries. Yeah, you got Rhino there. What else? You got Scorpion. A uh, bunch of street arts. Uh, Doc Ock, Electro, The Prison, Mr. Negative, Tombstone. You know Martin Lee, Aunt May, Otto, and and all of that. So like I said, the <clears throat> the spoiler, the spoiler here that could be related to the art book instead of um, instead of the statue. Right, but again, again, that's just that's just me. Uh, anyway, next up is the steel case. So this is what the game comes in. Okay, so uh, it's, it's it's nice red with a white spider logo. Uh, nothing on the back. If we open it up, you get uh, you two things. You get the disc, the PS4 disc, and you get this uh, flat well, well instruction manual for the controls, uh, which is right there. Okay, uh, and the back just says, you know, PS Plus, the usual. And you also get this <clears throat> white spider sticker, as I mentioned before. And there's no way I'm going to be sticking this anywhere. Uh, so this is going to be as is. it's going to remain. And on the back just has the Marvel Spider-Man logo. Uh, there's also this um, booklet. Uh, and it gives you the voucher code for the bonus. So there it is. Right, the code's obviously behind here. Uh, now it's it's multi multi page and it's um, in in different languages, <clears throat> all right. And the case itself, uh, just in case you want to, you're wondering uh, what image is behind it, this is it. So if I take the CD out, you have Spider Man taking a selfie on top of a building somewhere. Okay, <clears throat> very nice touch. Right now, moving on to the statue itself. So let's uh, let's take a look at this. So the statue <clears throat> is actually sitting uh, just behind, uh, was it two, three, two layers of plastic molding, right? The first plastic mold is obviously <clears throat> for the game, for the disc, and sorry, for the, um, the steel case and also the art book. Now if I take this out, slowly, there's another plastic mold, right? So I'm going to take, take that out as well. So let's take this out and finally we get to the statue itself. There it is. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to uh, bring it up close. There it is. Okay, so let's, if we take it out, here we are. Now, <clears throat> the statue has quite a bit of weight to it, uh, which is great. It's nice and solid. Um, it shows, well, it shows Spider-Man on top of, um, you know, you know, uh, posing on top of his defeated enemies. So let's take a look. Who, who, who can we see here? So we've got here, we've got Rhino on top, right? There it is. There's Rhino. We have got a vulture, which is the wing wings here down the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. There it is. There's the uh, the wings. Okay. We have got Doc Ock, which is the um, the claw here. Hopefully you can see that. There's a claw with the yellow tips. Uh, the the black tentacle. That's also uh, Doc Ock as well. Uh, you've also got Scorpion, which is the green <coughs> uh, tentacle here uh, with the pointy tip. You have got uh, Electro which is this suit here, pretty sure that's Electro. Um, and you have also got, uh, oh, actually look, there's a, there's, hopefully you can see it, there's a, um, a piece of the raft in here. Uh, where is it, there it is, R, you can, you can make up the R, um, the A's are obviously underneath uh, Spider-Man's um, shoes, and uh, I can't get the, there's an F, there's the F, and there's a T in there somewhere, um, yeah. Uh, and also, one more thing, there is actually a sword here, sticking out of the ground. Hopefully you can see that, there's a, there it is, there's a sword there. Now, as far as I know, um, that probably belongs to Mr. Negative. Right? But, uh, but again, I, I could be wrong, but yeah, I'm, there is a, there is a symbol, I, I, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but the, see that? face there on the, what is it, is that called the hilt? I'm not sure. Um, that, that looks like a demon, so I'm guessing that's Mr. Negative Sword. Okay, 
but um, yeah, it's it's it, like I said, it's nice and solid. It's it's well made. It's uh, it, it's beautiful. And you know, if, if yeah, if I had a chance to, if I had the space to um, uh, to put this uh, to display this, I would. But unfortunately, yeah, I don't. But anyway, that is it um, for yeah the uh, Marvel Spider-Man Collector's Edition for the PlayStation Four. Next up is the spin-off of the first game, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales for the PS5. Uh, this is a standard game, uh, so <laughs> there's nothing really special about it because no, there were no collector's edition, special edition that came out uh, with this particular one uh, for, for the PS5 or the PS4. Um, oh, actually, I'm not sure. Did this came out on PS4? Uh, I could be wrong there. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's a standard um, edition. Uh, there's the back of it. There's the front. Uh, inside, <laughs> you only get two things, um, the PS5 disc and a uh, yeah, precaution health warning uh, leaflet, which is uh, pretty boring. However, uh, one special thing about this game is that this has a reversible cover. So if I take this out, there it is. There is the second cover for the game. All right, so there's the, um, the PS5 cover and there is the other cover. Nice. Anyway. That was nice and quick. On to the third game in the series. <clears throat> the sequel to Marvel Spider-Man and a follow-up to Marvel Spider-Man Mars Morales. Marvel Spider-Man 2 Collector's Edition. No, I lied. <clears throat> this is the uh, this is the shipping box that the <laughs> that the uh, that the game comes in. Let me show you the real one. And here it is. <clears throat> yep, it is big and it is bulky. Uh, I believe it's twice the size of the original one. <clears throat> Let me just grab that for you. Here's a comparison, right? So here, before I, yeah. So there, there's quite a bit of depth to this, so there it is, right? That's, that's how deep it is, right? That's how big, that's how wide it is. And if I put the first collector's edition next to it, I'm gonna put it on this side. There we go. Um, as you can see, it is twice the size, maybe two and a half times. And if you compare that with a regular <clears throat> uh, PS5 uh, case, there we go. That's how big it is, right? And that's how big the first one is. Just for comparison, oops, just for comparison. There we are. Okay, now let's take a look at this. So. <clears throat> This is just the outer case. There is another box inside, but before we get to that, let's let's take a look at the packaging itself. Okay, here we go. So, at the front shows you the two protagonists of the game. Uh, you've got Spider-Man and Miles Morales. Um, you've got the spider logo on one side. Uh, similar to the other side, you also get uh, the spider logo as well. There we go. The top gives you the Spider-Man Marvel Spider-Man 2 um, logo, as you can see there. And on the back shows you what you get in this uh, collector's edition. So, see if I can uh, get this up closer. There we go. We have the Steelbook display case. We have the full digital PS5 game, which, oh, I'll, I'll talk to you about that later. Uh, you have a 19 inch collector's edition statue. And you also get a couple of uh, pre-order bonuses, as you can see there, right? You get the early unlock Arachnite suit for Peter. You have the Shadow Spider Suit for Miles, you get a Web Grabber Gadget, uh, you get three skill points, and the Digital Deluxe content includes ten unique suits, uh, five for Peter, five for Miles, additional photo mode items, and two more skill points. So that's five skill points in total, just to get you, you know, underway. Alright, okay. Anyway, let's uh, open this and see the box inside. A few moments later... Here it is! Right, it's it's just a black box with um with two ribbons coming out either side of it. Where's the other one? Uh, it should be down here. There it is. There is the ribbon. Okay, the top gives you a uh, a white uh, spider logo, and so you know the black and white color combination. Yeah, we all know who has this color combination, right? Now, much like the first collector's edition, the box itself is uh, made with a thick material, so it's nice and solid and sturdy. Okay, and let me show you one more thing. See these the, the two ribbons I showed you before? Uh, this one, this one here, and on the other side. This actually makes it very, very easy to open the box. Right? You just pull on these um, two ribbons, and there it is. It just pops up. 
just like that. And just in case you're wondering, there it is. There's a the, the spider logo, right? You can you can probably screenshot that and uh, and and use it as a as a as an image on its own. Okay. Um, <clears throat> right now, inside, uh, obviously we get a few things. I can just put it on this side for you. There we there we go. Uh, so there's the uh, steel case, and you get a, a red uh, you know cardboard mold for the um, collector's edition. Okay, so anyway, let's see the um, uh, the the steel case. First of all, there it is. There is the steel case. Uh, it looks very nice. Right, um, it's got a blue uh, look, tinge to it. On the back, it's got uh, what does that say? Emily May Foundation. Uh, you have an image of uh, Miles and Spider Man fighting Venom. All right, uh, the inside, if we open it up, uh, <laughs> there's actually nothing inside because this does not it doesn't give you game. Okay, and yeah, and that, that's that's it. Now there are two leaflets. The, the first leaflet is just the, you know the usual, yeah, you know health warning precautions, blah blah. The second one is the actual digital uh, the the DLC code, which is uh, which is that one there. Okay. <clears throat> now back to the um, the steel the, the the steel case. Actually, no. This is the um, yeah down the the Spider-Man two. That is that is the actual game. The um, and the pre-order bonus, the code before. Now, to be honest with you, I. This, this annoys me. Why would you include a steel case when it doesn't contain the physical disc? Now, personally, I'm old school and I love my physical disc. Uh, as a collector, there's nothing better than a physical medium, either a disc, a cartridge, whatever it is. Having a digital game is nice, but it, it doesn't have that same feeling as owning the physical disc. So. This is probably going to be the first and last time I'm ever going to do this. I'm ever going to buy a game which doesn't contain a physical disc. I mean, luckily, luckily, this does have the full game in, in, in DLC form. Like, I mean, <clears throat> if, you know, other games, uh, like, for, for instance, Red Dead Redemption 2. The game is sold separately. You, you, can, you can buy the game and you can buy the collector's edition separately. I don't see the point. Similar with God of War Ragnarok, you can buy the game itself, or you can and you, and or you can buy <clears throat> the collector's edition separately, the one that comes with a Thor ham Thor's hammer. Uh, come on, what's the point? You know, if I'm going to be spending, especially nowadays, especially if if I'm going to be spending money, I would expect the, to get everything. You know, the collector's edition, the game, DLC codes, and whatnot. Uh, but again, that's just me. You know, I, I'm just nitpicking. Um, some of you out there may not agree with me, some of you may agree, I, that's just my opinion, right? Anyway, I digress. Okay, alright, next up is this instruction manual for the statue. So it, it shows you, it tells you how to set it up, okay? There it is, hopefully you can see that, let me just uh, bring that up close, there we go, okay. Now, we get to the statue itself. Now, please note that I have not taken the statue out of the box, so this will be the first time, the very first time I have ever taken it out. So yeah, as usual, you guys are in for a treat. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off this red mold here, all right? There we go. <clears throat> now, oh, okay, there's a, uh, hopefully you can see this, there's a paper cover. And behind that is the statue. Hopefully you can see this. There we go. Now, I'm going to take out uh, this. Oh, actually, I just noticed something. Spider-Man. Uh, let me just see if I can bring this down. Oh, I can. Spider-Man is actually by himself. So he's not attached to anything. So if I... Yeah, I don't want to drop him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him out. Look, you see there? There, he's all by himself. There he is. I'm going to take him out, put him to the side, and then I am going to take out uh, Venom. And is Miles... Yeah, Miles looks like he's... Oh yeah, uh, well, there you go. The instruction um, booklet also shows that uh, Miles is attached to Venom. So I'm going to take him out off screen here very quickly. There we go. And there we are. Hopefully, hopefully you can all see that. Um, let me see here, see if I can move back a little bit. There we go. 
There we go. Okay, now let's uh, let's attach these um, together. Okay, so uh, according to the instruction manual, it comes with this uh, and the webbing. Uh, there it is. There's an image of the webbing. Okay, so if we take this out, if I take this out, oh, it's made of metal. You can hear it. It's hard. It's 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 made from from something hard. So so this goes into a venom shoulder. Uh, there it is. There's a hole there. So if I attach this to here like so, I'm just I'm not gonna fully attach it because yeah I'm not gonna. Um, this will this will go back in its box. And then on this end um, is Spider-Man. So if I, yep, just like that. So let's, uh, I'm gonna put them way back here so you can see, there it is. Apologies with the camera, um, I'm not able to actually, maybe I can, give me a second. Let me see if I can uh, adjust this camera so you can see the whole lot. All right, so if I point it up, there we go, there we go, that's better. There it is. So, let me, let me bring this up and, and up close here so you can see it. Um, there's Venom, there's the, there's the base, it's, this is, this has got quite a bit of weight to it by the way. Uh, there's the base, there's all the symbiote, um, the black symbiote, there it is. Alright, there's Venom, there's Spider-Man. So he's only attached to this uh, metal uh, bar, here. well, the, the, the metal webbing, I would say. There's Spider-Man there, uh, there's Venom, there is Miles, ready to punch his lights out. Uh, wow, this is great, this looks, this looks awesome. Let's take, take a look at the details on Venom's teeth there, look at that. And there is the back. There it is. Right. And yeah, this is this is beautiful. Like this, I have to say, this is very well made. Let me put, almost let me put it back here. Hopefully, there it is. So that that's that's awesome. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I. <clears throat> I'm actually kind of regretting not having any space uh, in my cabinet. To display this, um, but yeah, such is life. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say actually. <laughs> that, but that's that's everything you get for both of the Marvel Spider-Man Collectors Edition games. As always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and all those <clears throat> good stuff. And see you all in the next video.